It's a game of agility, speed, and mental precision. And it's been around for centuries. Well, it is the most popular sport in Asia. They can fill a 10,000 seat stadium with the top professional players. It's a game of singles, doubles, and even mixed doubles. Badminton is becoming more popular in the United States. This year, due to a lower number of players, competitors played round robin style in doubles. Uh, we're in our 65 plus age group and our opponents were just turning 50. So it was fun, it was challenging, and it was just a really great experience. Badminton is one of 35 competitive sports underway in this year's senior games. While most may remember playing it when they were kids in the backyard. Our dog, Lizzie the Boxer, would sit at the nets and she'd watch and she'd watch and she'd watch and then she'd see it going down and she would be the first to pick up the bird and run away and chew it up. This is a sport that is taken very seriously at high levels of play. Stephen Fry and his brother Chris have been playing the game of badminton together for around 50 years. But since they live in different states, they're only able to play a few times a year. And that's why they love coming to the senior games to compete in the doubles. Well, this is our 11th games, I think, uh, uh, minus two years for COVID, or one year for COVID and one year for cancer. So at any rate, um, it's, uh, uh, it's on our to-do list every year. It requires something extraordinary not to be here. Because the net is only around five feet, height may give athletes an advantage during play. And according to some, standing on your toes during a serve gives players an edge on the angle. So by standing on your toes, you can, you, you can serve, you have to contact the bird um, from uh, below your lowest rib. And so you do, all the standing up, all it does is get your lowest rib higher, so it changes the angle a little bit more down. Those who teach it as well as play it say it's similar to chess and it's fast. Uh, badminton's a very fast sport. As a matter of fact, it's the fastest sport, period. Tennis, racquetball, table tennis, they all have a bounce. Badminton's a volley. Every shot is a volley. The moment it hits the floor, points over. And in tennis, they've clocked the, the tennis ball on a serve at over 140 miles an hour. They have clocked the shuttle on a smash at over 306 miles an hour. And that's only gonna travel 30 feet. And if you get hit by that shuttle, it can do real damage, despite its size. Because when it hits, it actually spins like a bullet. And that's how it travels. Rackets are being formulated so well anymore that they're almost like whips. And so one of my partners lost an eye to a bird strike and another one lost a front tooth. So uh, it's, the problem is, is the rackets are getting too, uh, too powerful. I mean, they just bend too easily and it is a whip. You can hear the, the pitch and the tighter it is, actually the harder it is to hit it because it's not for power. You string tighter for more control. This has 16 goose feathers. And usually, when they, when they make these, they take it either from the left wing or the right wing. You never mix wings. If, it, if there were left wing and right wing feathers on the same shuttle, it won't spin. Regardless of how you play the game, it's all about passion and having a good time. The whole group is just such a good group of people. It, win or lose, it doesn't really matter that much. You give it your best and you know they will too, but at the end, it's, we'll all go out and eat dinner together and have a good time. I just really enjoy it. It's great exercise. I love the camaraderie of the people and it's, it's just fun.